Hi everyone, uh, this is Nellie's Kitchen again. Uh, we just came back from the pumpkin patch and uh, we have fresh ingredients today. Uh, I bought some butternut squash and we are going to make butternut squash bisque or soup, whatever you want to call it. So the ingredients are butternut squash, about three to four pounds of it. It's pretty big. Here's my hands compared to it and we're gonna need some veggies it's really simple veggies here we have about three cups of chopped leeks and so that's about three to four medium um, leek stalks chopped then we have half of um, chopped bell peppers or you can use jalapenos and you can use it with or without seed I prefer without seed um, here's about an one or two inches of chopped or sliced ginger, cube ginger. And then here we have about two cups of carrots and two cups or one and a half cups of carrots and about four stalks of chopped celery. And for the rest of the ingredients, we're going to need half and half or you can use whole milk and some chicken bouillon or four, four to five cups of chicken broth and some coconut oil. You can also use um, olive oil or butter if you want to. Um, I like coconut because I think the smell of coconut and butter, not squash, is divine. And here it is. And you'll need also a blender and a giant um, pot to make your soup in. So first, we're gonna cut this butternut squash into quarters and then gut it out and put it in the oven and let it roast for about 40 minutes. Okay, so let's start. So here you have it, the butternut squash um, cut into quarters. Uh, I drizzle up some, uh, add a little bit of butter uh, right here and also drizzle some um, olive oil on top. And it seems like it's pretty much done. I cooked it for about 35 to 40 minutes under 400 degrees. So if you just get a fork and poke right through it, that means it's cooked. And so we're gonna cook the rest of the vegetables. All right, so we're gonna cook the vegetables. Let's get some coconut oil and we'll add about, oh, that much, I would say about one or two tablespoons. So while that's heating up, or let it heat it up, um, let's look at the veggies. And um, what we're gonna do with this is once the oil is all heated up, we're just gonna add the whole entire thing into the uh, pan. All right, the oil's well heated through, and let's throw in the veggies. So let's add the whole thing in there. Let it cook. Saute it for about 10 to 15 minutes until the vegetables are fully wilted. So just let it cook there for under medium high heat and stir it every once in a while. And we'll fast forward and add the chicken stock. Alright, as you can see, the vegetables mostly wilted. And what we're gonna do next is um, Actually, before adding the water, we're going to add um, the butternut squash into the mix. So what we want to get is get a big spoon and start um, you know, getting this out, scooping it off from the skin. And look how good it looks. And it smells wonderful, especially when it's roasted. When you roast a butternut squash, uh, in the oven. Um, it smells really delightful and it brings up a lot of the flavor out. So I'll try to scoop most of this out and we're going to fast forward here a little bit and what we're going to do actually after we scoop all of this out is uh, discard the skin. So here's the skin. Uh, you don't want that. 
So just try to scoop all the inside out into this mix here. All right, so here I scooped up all the butternut squash meat into the mix. And what we're gonna do now is add about four to five cups of water. And then what we're gonna do is let it simmer. But before we add that, we add a little bit of the chicken broth. So I would add about three, three to four teaspoons. Let it heat up for about 10 minutes or simmer it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to let it cool down afterwards. So let's let it let's cover it and simmer it for about 15 minutes. Whoops, that thing is hot. There you go. Let's check on the soup. So right now the soup looks pretty good and what we're going to want to do is Turn the fire off, or the heat off, and we we're going to let it cool down for about half an hour, actually for about an hour or two because we don't want to put this right in the blender when it's boiling hot. But as you can see, everything looks really well, looks really good. In fact, you can eat the soup like this if you want it to, but I preferred my soup uh, bisque style. So. Let this cool down for about an hour or two and then we'll come back to it. So here's the soup and we're ready to puree it. I have a glass um, mixer here or blender. And what we're going to do is do it in a set of batches. And what we do with the puree mix is we add it in a separate pot under low heat. So let's do one batch and to show you how it's done and then continue doing the rest and, uh, and we'll fast forward a little bit. So let's scoop up some soup. Just put it in there. As you can see, it's still hot. I didn't wait for a whole hour or so. I waited about half an hour. And I'm not too concerned that the soup is still hot because I'm using a, um, a glass blender. So, let's mix. Let's add that. And then let's add this to the blender. And let's cover it. Okay, and what we're going to do is we want to pulse it under low. We don't want to mix it too much, then it makes it um, too fluffy, and I don't like it too fluffy. I like it creamy. So let's do another low pulse. Let's see all these ingredients are mixing well together. do is pour it into this pot right here and let's pour it right in there all right it's looking really good so we continue doing that until we're done blending the whole this whole entire pot all right all right here you have it here's the butternut squash all blended really well I also added about um, half a cup to a cup of hot water because I don't want my soup to not be fluffy I want it to be nice and smooth so we're cooking this under um, low medium low heat we don't want this to bubble we just want it to heat it uh, to be heated thoroughly and one last ingredient that we add is about a cup of half and half so let's add this to the mix. There you go. And we just stir it until this entire soup is well heated through. And also we want to add, um, or you may want to add uh, salt, but first um, you need to taste the soup to see if it um, has enough salt or not. 
Um, I already tried it and it does. Um, so I don't think it, my soup needs any more salt, but I will add um, some pepper to this. So let's add pepper. Okay. And then mix it again until it's thoroughly heated through. And I would say the say do this about three three to five minutes and your soup is done. See how nice and creamy it is and it smells delightful. I love butternut squash soup. It's very healthy. The kids love it and it's a really good comfort food. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video.